Parshas Ekev Shlishi. Now here, in continuing a Moshe Rabbeinu speech, he is now, we're going to do a little bit of the Chumash of what's occurring. Moshe Rabbeinu is remembering the Jews leaving Egypt, reminding them, speaking about it, and our school word, tribulations in the wilderness. And it discusses, obviously, one of the great sins of all time, the golden calf. And if we remember, we're in that time now. There were three periods of 40 days, which is discussed in this reading. There's the Jews left Egypt on Pesach morning. It's the, the Kriya Siamsev was the end of Pesach. This is all in the first year in the desert, first weeks in the desert. The 49th, 50, 51st day was when Har Sinai occurred. Moshe Rabbeinu went up for 40 days. 40 days later, he came down. That was the sin of the golden calf. Then he went up again for 40 days. And he got the news that he davened, helped the Jews, helped the Jews. And Hashem said, I agree, I'm going to help the Jews. And then he came up on Rosh Kodesh Av, which is a couple weeks away. And Hashem said, I forgive you. And then Moshe Rabbeinu went up a third time for 40 days and came down on Yom Kippur, the final where Hashem did another level of forgiveness. So a lot of the commentaries, even on this Rashi here, are going to question, what's two levels of forgiveness? What does that mean? He forgave them at, at Rosh Kodesh Av. He said, you, we're all good. Moshe Rabbeinu came down, told the Jews, it's all good. I'm going back up for 40 days. He came down Yom Kippur. What's the difference between Yom Kippur now? Which means in the time we're experiencing now, there's some level of forgiveness. And then there's going to be a second level of a greater difference. And many approaches are used. One is an easy one I like, and we could use it for ourselves because now we're going into tshuva. We have to know what Hashem's going to look at us. We're going to start repenting. We have to have started already now, by the way. Hopefully you've already begun repenting. There are two levels of forgiveness. I do something wrong to you. Let's say I uh, stepped on your toe by accident. I wasn't careful. And I said, can you forgive me? And you say, yeah, I forgive you. And you, you're serious. You are. You're a good person. You forgive me. And then a week later, I step on your toe again. How do you look at me stepping on your toe again? Is it, ah, oh, he did it again? Or no, it's a brand new start. What level of forgiveness was shown? So the Yidin, during the middle 40 days of forgiveness, Hashem said, I forgive you. But the forgiving was on a level, if we do it again, it starts over. But the second level of forgiveness, where Hashem said to Moshe, come back up for 40 days, is a level of forgiveness where if we sin again, it starts over. We're starting the days of repentance. Many of us ask the question, why should I repent? I'm going to do the Avera again. Everyone asks that question. It's a normal question to ask. And there are different approaches, different answers, many answers, and still repent. That's for sure. But one answer is, if you're repenting correctly, or Hashem's in the proper mood, I don't want to use that phrase, of forgiving, then even if you return to it, it's a brand new start. You didn't step on his toe, again, not his toe, Hashem's toe, your friend's toe the second time, you now stepped on it the first time. So yes, repent, and the clock starts over, literally and figuratively, and you now have a clean slate. And if God forbid you return to that sin, it's only the first time. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.